start out uh, this Monday with a nice little piece, thanks to the fix over at HacksRadio.com, and this is a, a really special kind of award ceremony. It is the top five world's gayest hacker. And again, thank you, the fix, for putting this out. We'll start off with number five, Hexter X. Sabu Monsegur, former leader of the LulzSec turned FBI informant. This melon-headed retard is a rat, snitch, sellout, cunt, twat, piece of shit, etc., etc. He is currently being stuffed to the gills with FBI agent Seaman. He is waiting trial, sentencing, or whatever the fuck FBI has planned for him. He keeps getting his case postponed. It seems every time an FBI demands a blowjob or a toss salad, he gets another extension. They could, uh, in theory, turn his ass out for decades before finally sentencing him. Shortly after he is incarcerated, we are fairly certain that the destiny of this anus will quickly become that of a glory hole with more traffic than the New York subway terminal, not to mention those swollen dick-sucking lips that would no doubt be put to further good use by some only inmate. So number five uh, was Sabu. Number four, Andrew Weave Orenheimer. Well, no, uh, while not himself gay, at least not before entering the penal system, he is However, a former president of the Gay Nigger Association of America, an anti-blogging trolling group who take their name from the 1992 Danish movie Gay Niggers from Outer Space, members of the Goat Sea Security involved with the iPad hack are also members of GNAA. And yes, I stole this text from his Wikipedia article, so fuck you. And again, fix, great work. Uh, number three, Ad Adrian Lamo former homeless gay street prostitute and self-admitted snitch. He is a Colombian-American threat analyst. He first gained media attention for breaking into several computer networks, including those of the New York Times, Yahoo, and Microsoft, culminating in his 2003 arrest. In 2010, Lamo reported U.S. serviceman Bradley Manning to federal authorities, claiming that Manning had leaked hundreds of thousands of sensitive U.S. government documents to WikiLeaks, Manning was arrested and incarcerated in the U.S. military justice system. Lamo continues to be a butt-hurt jelly snitch to this day. Lamo told the media that he snitched on Manning because he was being patriotic. Uh, talking out of his ass, the truth is he snitched because he didn't want three strikes for being impl implicated and was saving his own ass. Of course, he chose to play Captain America rather than admit the truth. I guess you can take the kid out of the street, but you can't take the dick out of his ass. And number two, the jester and his fans. I don't think an explanation is really in order. It's pretty clear that these assholes are faggots. But I will do it anyway, just because fuck you. Jester is a lonely douchebag sitting in his mother's basement. He was discharged from the army before being gay, he was acceptable, and now he is distinguished against all homosexuals who are actively serving and therefore has a grudge against Bradley Manning because Bradley Manning is gay. He also sits in the safety of his basement impressing other basement-dwelling inbred rednecks by DDoSing with a shitty tool he calls Xerxes, which is actually just Pirate Loris wrapped in a GUI that he stole from Armitage and paid two strip kitties in the hack forum to code it up for him, net for 20 bucks. The retards at Fox News regularly glorify his stupidity by claiming that he is lame sock, uh, sockets flutter in hacking intro or compromising the security of remote systems. Bullshit that his followers believe because they are all inbred, beer-swilling, hillbilly retards who would believe any bullshit you tell them. So as long as you wrap it in a U.S. flag, rumor has it that Jester spends his nights fervently mad masturbating to the blog post of Jennifer Emick. And a side note, uh, upon talking to the fix of Jester, the only reason you were placed at number two, I mean, certainly you have enough behind you to be the gayest hacker of all times, but the fix didn't think that you uh, warranted that uh, credibility either. On top uh, of the five world's gayest hackers, John Captain Crunch Draper. I don't give a fuck what you think. John Draper hands down the queen of all gay hackers. He has quite a rap sheet and a notable history. He was the son of a U.S. Air Force engineer. He described his father as distant in an interview published on the front page of the January 13, 14, 2007 issue of the Wall Street Journal. Draper was entered in the Air Force in 1964. 
And while stationed in Alaska, helped his fellow servicemen make free calls home by devising access to a local telephone switchboard. After Alaska, he was stationed at Charleston's Air Force Station in Maine. In 1967, he created WKOS, uh, WKOS, a pirate station in nearby Dover, Frogscroft, but had to shut it down when a legitimate radio station, WDME, objected. He was honorably discharged from the Air Force in 1968 and did military-related work with several employees in the San Francisco Bay Area. He adopted to the counterculture of the times and operated a pirate pirate radio station out of a Volkswagen van. Draper is renowned for his poor personal and dental hygiene. Draper has been studying with a personal trainer to learn how to locate energy blockers that make you tired and weak. Until recently, he was only able to do this to himself, but now he has turned uh, his talent into treating other people. The energy talent may have something to do with all the raves Draper attends. Today, many know Draper as Johnny D, a creepy old man that can be found at raves all over California. He has been giving what he calls energy hugs and massages, while others have said that he has been caught luring young boys to his hotel rooms at hacker conventions and riding grown men bareback in some strange self-described energy workout. Whether or not he is gay is unconfirmed, but he hasn't been seen uh, copulating with any women, and his sexual escapades remain shrouded in brouded and deviant and odd behavior. Whether you find this article offensive or not, one thing remains true. John Draper is a legend, and his name will be remembered long after he was gone. And that all thanks to the fix and hacksradio.com. All right, there you go, folks. That is a clip from the Hacker News Show from about two weeks ago that broadcast at ucy.tv every Monday, 6 p.m. You can see we got a great sponsor for the show, HacksRadio.com. Uh, we have a little bit of fun, but more importantly, in that hour show, you get enough information so that you fully understand just how insecure your feeble little world is. So I want to invite you all, remind you, if you're here on YouTube, that you can gather with me every Monday night. And those archives are available. You can subscribe to those for free if you're not available on Monday night. So the link to the archive will be below. And uh, there you go. Five gayest hackers. Who knew? Much love. Many thanks. And I'll see you Monday night, 6 p.m. East Coast time, ucy.tv for Hacker News. Tweet it, post it, Facebook it. Expect it.